Hi guys, welcome to my channel for photographers where I talk about how I got the shot. This is my first ever YouTube video filming myself, so excuse me if it's a bit rough around the edges. In this video, I wanna talk through exactly how I got the cover photograph for the cover of a new book called Fearless by Trini Woodall. A bit of background about book cover shoots. Um, there's a little bit more to them than an editorial shoot. And um, with a book cover shoot, um, to start with, we've got more budget. So um, the photography fee is likely to be higher. Uh, and sometimes there's some usage at stake as well. Uh, but there'll nearly always be an art director uh, on the shoot, um, as well as often someone from the marketing department of the publishing house. So you've got more people kind of on the shoot. There's a few more opinions that matter and a few more things at stake. From a technical point of view, um, to nail this shoe, um, I used um, a Profoto Magnum reflector, uh, which I don't use that much of the time. It's a very punchy front light and I put a thin piece of trace over the top of it and had it boomed directly over the top of me. And um, yeah, it worked really well, it made the skin look really glowy, um, which was the kind of look and feel that the, the client was after. Yeah, one of the reasons I don't use the Magnum very often is because you can zoom it in and out and um, it's got this kind of hot spot um, and it, um, it's easy to sort of get it in the wrong place. So it's not always my go-to kind of reflector, but for skin and in this instance when we wanted like a really punchy image for the book cover and um, it actually worked really well. Was I pleased with the shot? Yeah I was. They flipped it actually uh, as you can see here um, so it was facing the other way but um, yeah no I think it's got kind of a lot of impact. I was really pleased they went for the shot with the purple background. I loved that. Um, I think Trini liked it. She even invited me to the book launch so hopefully that's a good sign and I got a shout out as well so um, yeah so all in all uh, it was a really good shoot and that's the end of my first how I got the shot um, and if you enjoyed it which I hope you did click over here uh, which is my latest upload and let me know in the comments if there's uh, anything you would like to see more of and of course if you would like to subscribe that would be amazing and um, thanks so much for watching bye